Welcome. We're here at the Computing Conference 2017 in London, and I'm talking to people with good brains. And I'm talking to one of them right now, all the way from Mexico. It is Fernando Reyes Abiles. Is that good? Yes. And you're at the, the university in Mexico City. What's it called? Universidad Autónoma Metropolitana. Yeah, exactly. That's the one. That's the one that I yes. wanted to, wanted to hear. So you're here to present something. Yes, a mobile application. Yeah, a mobile application. Yes, that it's part of an augmented reality system. Yeah. That helps uh, students from undergraduate courses to understand electrical circuits concepts. Oh, that's good. So, and so how, do, how does the augmented re reality work in that application? Uh, well, the student needs to take a photo of the circuit mm -hmm. with his or her cell phone. Yeah. And the cell phone processes the image and displays on the screen of the phone uh, virtual objects yeah. in order to explain the function of, sure. the, of each component of the circuit. And the student can analyze easily the circuit with this application. Yeah, it must be also fun to do for the students. Yes, it's yeah. a little bit easier mm -hmm. compared with traditional instruments. Exactly. And yeah. traditional methods. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit easier and more practical. Yep, visual. Efficient. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Attractive. Was it hard to develop this application? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what was the hardest part? Uh, the image recognition. Mm -hmm. In order to find the resistor position in the photograph, yep. uh, it was a little difficult to find its positions mm. and to classify the resistors according to the standard values. Why was that difficult? Because the light conditions may interfere with the task of recognition. Ah, I see. And how did you solve that? Well, we use several mathematical algorithms, yeah. like uh, erosion mm -hmm. and linear filtering, and that help us to recognize the, the resistors inside the photograph. All right. So, so you developed something that you're happy with now. Yes. Okay, so what will the future bring? What will you do next? Um, act currently, we are working extending the capabilities of the system. The same system? Yes, the same to system. extend it. We okay. want to extend its yeah. functions. Mm -hmm. And the application al also is being improved mm -hmm. to show more information about the, the, r the circuit. Okay, so you will, you will be working on the circuits for quite a while. Yes. All right, good. So, and it will expand, and then um, in a year or so, you will tell us what do you think? Yes. Yeah, what, what, what I look forward. Yeah, <laughs> you look forward. What are you going to tell us in a year? That I have developed a more complete system. Yeah. And it uh, helps the students to understand the circuits. Exactly. And that's what we need. Thank you so much, Fernando. Thank okay, you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm talking to all kinds of experts, so you should really have a look at the other interviews on the uh, Computing Conference uh, uh, channel, wh which is the SAI Conference channel on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye.